are on an expedition around India to discover 100 unique and iconic motorcycles. Motorcycles will define the face of Indian motorcycling. This is Indian 0 to 100 motorcycles. To design a motorcycle that could revive a whole company is a sign of genius. And then to make it one of the most beautiful motorcycles ever is legendary. When Massimo Tamburini, one of the greatest motorcycle designers, created the first F4, the world knew it was looking at something truly special. Hello! I'm aboard another exotic motorcycle and this time is the mighty F4RR from MV Augusta. I think this is the only one in the country as of now. And this machine has 200 bhp propelling a mass of 190 kgs. And that is absolutely amazing. And I am so excited that I can't even speak properly. The jaw-dropping combination of the stunning bodywork and the mechanics is a stroke of such brilliance that it is impossible to fault. It even left us a bit tongue-tied. But we managed. Actually, these roads are not really meant for this motorcycle. But I'm really surprised by the comfort it's, it's, it's providing me. It's, it's one of the most extreme motorcycles that you probably ride. And boy, I mean, I'm just loving it. The F4 was first introduced in 1999 with a 750cc engine and played the biggest role in reviving MV Augusta. This was a motorcycle which actually revived MV Augusta once again and made its mark on the world superbike market. Its inline four engine was derived from the Formula One cars of Ferrari and hence the name F4. The F4RR is one of the latest superbikes from this exotic Italian manufacturer. Its four pipe underseat exhaust system is so popular that it has become the identity of the F4 lineup. This trip is actually turning out to be one lucky trip for me. We are by all means overwhelmed to have experienced this truly breathtaking machine. We now move on to our next motorcycle, the iconic Honda Rune. It is a moment where words fall short. How can you describe a motorcycle which makes words fail you? Don't wonder what we're talking about for we're about to show you one of the most radical motorcycles to ever be put into production, the Honda Rune. So as you can see, I'm riding the Honda Rune, which is one of the rarest cruisers or motorcycles. Honda had produced some say 1,200 units in, in US because the Americans wanted something more than the Honda Valkyrie which was actually a, looked like a true blue cruiser. But Honda, as you know, like the Japanese are a little hard to convince if you want them to deviate from the normal, uh, the traditional norms of how should a cruiser look. But yes, so this is what finally came out out of the Honda stable in the US. Calling it beautiful, stunning or magnificent would be an understatement. Perhaps the ideal word should be out of this world. And if you were with us right now, standing beside it, you would echo our emotions as loudly. The 1,832cc six-cylinder engine from the Goldwing was returned for more power to inject the Rune with some more attitude. Now, this bike is around 400 kgs, but it actually has got such a low center of gravity that you know it's actually very, very, very flickable as you can see. The weight almost you know, disappears into thin air. And this bike is by no means small bike. It is a gigantic motorcycle, but like all Hondas, it handles like a dream for its size. This is one of the most amazing cruisers that I've ridden, just because how it looks and how it sounds and how it handles. And the thing is that if you have one of these, uh, then you've got one very rare motorcycle which is also reliable. When life throws us opportunities like this one, we just cannot help but feel tremendously lucky. Maybe our stars were perfectly aligned, 
because no matter how many motorcycles we ride in our lives, we will never forget the Honda Rune. So Prakash, thank you so much for letting me ride this Rune. And you know pleasure. what, I had a scale model of this uh, motorcycle. I also collect scale models. And okay. Every now and then I used to, you know, see all the scale models in my collection. I have around thousand of them. And this this bike used to, you know, capture my attention all the time. I used to stop and look at this bike. And now finally I have been able to ride it. That's amazing. So, I mean, thank you so much, Prakash. I think you have got a museum on wheels right here <laughs> in your uh, house.